In today's installment of the APOC video series, we want to talk about data structures, especially maps in Cypher and APOC. So for that, we um, take our NeoVG browser and want to look at what's possible in Cypher itself. So Cypher itself has already literal maps, so you can just create uh, maps like A1, for instance, um, here, or you could even create something like name Michael, um, H42 as a, as a map, but of course you can also nest them. So you could, for instance, say, okay, I have uh, three kids, Selena, Rana, and Selma. So we see that here there's a uh, nested list inside our map. Uh, and of course this uh, list can also become a nested map itself. So we could say uh, Selena is 20 years old, Rana is 12 and Selma is 10. So and now you see that uh, we have a nested map here uh, where my documents can actually nest within each other. And uh, these data structures are quite handy for a lot of things, especially if you have clients that consume uh, JSON objects, then returning these from Cypher makes it really easy to, to work with. Um, to make it easy for us uh, to work with this data, we just set this as a parameter. So we use a pair param uh, with the uh, arrow syntax here, which means that on the right side we can have arbitrary cipher code, uh, even invoking functions and things like that, that uh, set this parameter. Okay, now we have this uh, data uh, param set here, and now we can see what we can do with APOC. Of course, also Cyber uh, supports creating these maps. Uh, you can't, for instance, change keys or values, or you can't merge maps and, and uh, do things like that. So that's why APOC has a bunch of functions uh, to handle that uh, for us. So as usual, we can do APOC help uh, map. And we see um, that there are uh, quite a number of functions that um, help us with uh, working with maps. So one that we've just seen here uh, is Epoch map, map Flatten, which is quite interesting for our current map that we had. So we can uh, just return at our look at our map. So we have this nested uh, map here. And imagine you want to store this on a Neo4j node. Uh, so we have to flatten out this uh, nested map because Neo4j itself cannot uh, store um, nested maps yet. So we just say uh, epoch map flatten, and then you see that it actually flattens the inner map into a prefix dot suffix, and then uh, stores the internal values. And this get, goes recursively uh, down to the end. So you get a flattened structure out of that. It's nice. So what else can we do? We can, uh, of course, take our data and um, manipulate it. Uh, so epoch map clean is a function that can be used to take input data, for instance, from load CSV or load JSON, and remove um, superfluous keys or values. So for instance, null values, uh, zeros, false, empty strings, and things like that. So in our case, we can just uh, use epoch uh, map clean uh, with our data and say we want to remove the kids key and the value 42 so that should leave us with a map that only has the name left so first come the keys that you want to skip and secondly the values usually you would put in also something like null or empty strings or something like that and so that leaves us just with our name so this is quite useful, especially also when you have data that co contains um, information for multiple nodes. So you can clean out the uh, keys, for instance, that you don't want to have on one node and then the other half uh, as well. Okay, uh, but APO can help us also to create data, uh, uh, create maps uh, as well. So we can, for instance, just use APOC map uh, from pairs, which pass you know, where we pass in actually a list of pairs. So then each pair is a uh, key value. So A1, uh, B2. For instance, you have two pairs, and this list of pairs is turned into map with A and B. Um, something similar is an epoch map uh, from um, 
lists where we separate out uh, a list of keys and a list of values. So first come the, comes the list of keys, then secondly comes the list of values. So we have two lists here. And if you run this, uh, we get the same map as well. So we can also do a, B, C, and one, two, three now, for instance. And this works as well. Okay, and um, similar to that, we can also do um, APOC map from values, which ju just takes one single list, where key and values uh, just come after one after another. So we can just generate something like that from data and then uh, create from values with an S. Uh, can generate something like that. So these uh, three functions from pairs, from lists, and from values also exist as an set list, set pairs, and set values, which takes an existing map and then adds our uh, key values or values uh, pairs or key value list uh, to that. So if I take an existing map, for instance, uh, epoch map uh, set values. So if I take my data map that we just had then it should add uh, A and B uh, to my map here. A and B, as you can see, got added. You can also use uh, APOC uh, map merge uh, return, uh, to merge two maps. So for instance, we could uh, merge our data map with an A1, uh, B2 map, for instance. Uh, and this works as well. So you can also merge multiple maps. and uh, and with merge list, you would pass in a list of maps that you want to merge. So it's not just two, but an arbitrary list, and it merges them together as well. Okay, what else can we do? We can, of course, modify maps. So um, we can, for instance, remove a key. Uh, so we can take our data map uh, that we had and remove the key uh, name, for instance, so which only leaves us age and kids. And we can also remove multiple keys, then the second parameter would be a list. So we could, for instance, remove name and age, which would only leave us uh, with the kids. OK, uh, of course, you can also replace uh, things. So we can, for instance, say set key. And we want to actually fix my age, of course, light a little bit. Um, so it's actually 43. And you see now um, the edge has uh, changed here. And um, we can do the same with set uh, entry, which is just an alias for this. Um, what else can we do? Um, we can uh, group uh, lists as well. And we can extract values uh, from a list. So what we can also do is say, uh, I want to have uh, the values of this data map and for instance I only want to have uh, age and kids and the second parameter would be a list and so we could extract uh, these values as a as list. So it's more visible if I get the values for age and name then you see that it's actually turned into a prop list. This is actually shorthand for something that you can write in Cypher itself because in Cypher we also have the ability to uh, access uh, maps by index. So we could say data of name is Michael and data of age is um, kids. And then we can also call uh, keys of our uh, map, which gives us all the keys. And if we combine these two, we can say uh, for each key in keys, we want to have uh, keys of k which would just give us the, oops, sorry, data, data of k. So which would just give us the values of our map. Yes, you can see the name, my age, and the kids as well. So the other thing that's quite useful is um, running um, Epoch map from nodes. So we can also create a map from nodes. So if we call epoch map uh, from nodes, pass in a label. So for instance, movie. And we want to group these movies by title. Then uh, 
we get a map back that actually has um, as keys are movie titles and as values uh, each of the movies, basically, which gives us a really nice um, cache. So we can, for instance, do something like that as cache, and then we get some data from root CC, for instance, as row, and then uh, instead of doing a match and using uh, the built-in index, uh, we can just use this in-memory uh, map as a cache and say with cache of row dot title is movie. So we can look up a movie from our cache uh, pretty quickly to, uh, for instance, update data or merge data or do things like that. So, and uh, this grouping also works in general with uh, nodes, relationships, and maps. So we have a um, function called group by. So we can also just do something like that. Uh, let's find all movies, uh, collect them into a map, and then return epoch map group by. Here are our movies, and we want to group them by title, so we get the same thing back as we had uh, just now. Uh, but we can also say we collect them by uh, properties of M. Then it looks the same from the outside, but it's actually a map of uh, maps. And then imagine we would uh, do something like um, flattening this out. So we could do epoch map flatten on this map. So we would have title dot release, title dot title, and so on, and title dot tagline uh, as combined thing here. Um, and this is also possible to do with um, multi maps. Uh, so if you had not title as a key, so if, but uh, for instance, uh, the release date, uh, then we would have, of course, multiple movies per release date. So we could say, okay, run this, and we see uh, group, by, group by multi. Uh, then we see th these entries are now lists, and for instance, for 1986, there are two entries. So we could, for instance, get the entry for uh, 1986, and that would return us uh, these two movies here. And uh, to close this off, uh, a really neat feature in, in Cypher itself is uh, something called map uh, comprehensions, uh, uh, map projections, sorry. And map projections is something where we can take a node or a map and then we, uh, for instance, we take a movie node here and then we return a map where we say, here's our movie. Uh, this could be also any other map, like our data map that we had. And then we just say dot title or dot uh, released. And uh, as uh, info, for instance, and then it uh, accesses only these uh, sub keys. So it looks a little bit like uh, GraphQL inside here. But of course we can also say something like uh, cast and then have a uh, pattern comprehension in here. For instance, we say I want to have all the people um, that had a um, relationship to this movie and I return the name of this person and, and so I see uh, for all my movies uh, as cast all the people that had some something to do with this. and. Um, so I can basically construct complex documents by nesting uh, these pattern uh, these these map projections with uh, pattern comprehensions, which is really cool. I'll go into that in, in a later episode. Um, besides uh, epoch help, you find also these uh, informations, these map functions in the in documentation. And uh, if you have any other questions, uh, feel free to uh, either create an issue on the repository or ask questions in Slack, or watch uh, more Epoch videos on the YouTube channel. Thank you.